Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of British Tech TV. Right, so uh, what I want to bring you to your attention today is um, there are probably, I mean these uh, wireless microphone systems now are becoming very popular. The Saramonic, the one that I've got in front of me here is the, um, the Saramonic uh, UW Mic 9. Um, as I say, you know, they're uh, quite cheap. I think we picked this up for about 200, 200 to 250 pounds. And they do a pretty decent job actually. But there is one major flaw with these. Um, you may even say it's actually a design fault. And uh, I did want to bring this to your attention and also a fix um, that I found. Um, I would like to uh, bring that to your attention as well. So the problem that we have or I, we've been having with these is that because we you know travel around a lot so these are sometimes they're chucked in the bag um, and they get moved about and stuff like that so what happens is um, I'll just use one of these as an example actually um, what tends to happen is the issue that we have is if you look here um, or those of you who own these you'll know very well to get the battery out what you do is you there's two clips here you push them in and the battery just comes out so let's try that now so I'll push these in and as you can see the battery just slides out right but what happens is I mean I've just put a piece of paper here so I don't have the issue but I'll explain to you what's going on I mean what what happens is when you're traveling around a lot what happens is sometimes because it you know as it, things get whacked about these batteries they tend to come out a little bit sometimes okay right so you know they tend to sort of pop out pop out of the box sometimes and the problem is if you have a look inside here right let's have a look in here if you have a look in here can you see that lip over here there's like a little lip so I can put my finger in just to demonstrate that to you so it's like a it's it's just right there there's a little lip okay now what happens is the batteries when they pop out of place uh, they get stuck behind that lip and when you try to open the case what happens is let's say I'll push these back in for now I'll show you so you can definitely see right there's a little lip down here there's a little lip down here uh, so what happens is when you put your batteries in right like so that's fine that's clipped in but what happens is if you sort of travel about a lot like I mean like myself then those batteries at some point they are going to pop out of place and what will happen is, um, especially if they're not charged, you'll be at an event and you want to change the batteries out. And you'll be trying to open this and you know what, it doesn't matter how hard you try, those battery, this battery box is not coming out. Okay, you, you know, you have to come in with a screwdriver or a sharp knife and get it in and mess about and you know, you can see what's happened to ours from doing that. Um, you know, we've scraped off most of the metal off there. And I guarantee you, uh, you know, there are many, many other people out there who experience the same thing. Uh, now this is 100%, this is definitely a design fault. Um, as far as I know, uh, I haven't seen anybody else talk about a fix for this. But that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to talk to you about a little fix. So the way that you can eliminate this problem once and for all and not have to deal with this issue is uh, through the solution that I'm going to show you now. But do bear in mind, this solution that I'm going to show you, uh, you know, most likely it's going to void your warranty. So, you know, you make, you, you make a conscious decision on that whether you think it's worth the risk or not. So the solution that I've got is basically, let's just take this out for now. I mean, uh, look, I'm already having difficulty trying getting it out. Um, let's see if I can get this out. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like mine are stuck already. Um, you can't see it through there anyway, but basically the batteries uh, are stuck because of that lip. Uh, they're actually... The, the the face of the batteries are stuck behind that lip and it won't allow me to pull this box out now okay uh, and I'm sure many of you experience this problem as well so what I'll do is I'll use the other one uh, to demonstrate and I'll, I can sort this one out later on and I'll use the other box to demonstrate what it is that you need to do so I've got the other box here the one that hasn't been uh, you know moved about a lot and uh, again I've got the uh, battery box on the side so this one I should be able to just unclip it and just pull it out like this so as you can see here this one I just unclip it and it just comes out and the other one should be the same but let's bring it over here and let's see what happens so I've got it here the other one 
I'm un unclipping it and I, you know, it doesn't matter how hard I try, I cannot pull this out, right? It's not coming out. I'm going to have to shove something in there and I'm going to have to wedge it out. Okay, so anyway, we're going to talk about the fix now. Okay, so here's my solution. So to basically, to eliminate that problem, what you're going to need is something like this. Basically, it's called a, it's called a rotary tool. Um, there's some more information on here, on the back for you. Uh, you can see. Um, now, this is this is it's like a it's like a little mini drill, uh, but it's gonna got got an attachment on it that you can attach. Um, you know. Uh, different types of uh, uh, head pieces. So for example, this is like a little grinder piece that's on there. Um, you do get a few different bits with it and then you can purchase extra parts, um, you know, whatever you need. There's so many different types of heads that you can get here just to do some detailed work. Um, I picked this one up from, I believe it was from Machine Mart. I think I paid about £25 for it, but I'll double check that. And I'll leave a link for either this or something similar. Um, you know, in the uh, in the description below or in the notes. But basically, what you need to do is you need to get your uh, Saramonic UW9, okay, and you need to open the battery box, right? And can you see that lip down here? Just down here, just on the inside here. There's a lip here. You don't need to take all of it out, but I'd say you know most of it from the middle to the sides, both sides you need to use this grinder piece here okay and you need to grind out that piece there okay you grind out all of that and that's your problem solved right so I'm gonna go and go away now and grind my one and then I'm gonna come back and show you so so let's just let's just uh, just so there's no confusion so that that little lip there that's just here you need to use this head and you need to come here, right, just here, and you need to grind that out. Okay, so I've just done mine, and I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, once you've done it. So if you look inside here, let's have a look inside here. Right, let's get that here. Can you see what I've done? So when I showed you this video before, there was a lip here, and I've just grinded that lip away. Okay, so there's no lip in there. I know it's not... Uh, perfect um, job but it's the best that I could do <laughs> so the lips gone and uh, the problem is solved again I'll show you on the other one same thing again let's have a look at this if you have a look here I've just there used to be a lip here but there's no more lip as I have grinded it away let's test it out and see if it's uh, achieved its purpose right so here's the battery box and let's put it in here Okay, let's give it a good whack and a good shake. Right, a good whack. Just trying to simulate, you know, the movement that you might get inside your camera bag or your kit bag. Okay, I'm sure it's not going to get, you know, much more than that. Now, let's see if it gets stuck. Here we go. Came out first time. Okay, so let's switch it on as well just to show you that it's all working. There you go, working perfectly. So I'll switch that one off. And let's test the transmitter. Here we go. So transmitter's been grinded away. I'll put the battery box in. Okay, here we go. I'll shut it. I'll uh, simulate some movement in a camera kit bag. Okay. Normally, uh, you know, <laughs> you don't even need this much shake, just a little bit of shake. Those batteries pop out of this uh, box and it gets jammed. Okay, so let's try it now. Let's see if uh, the solution has worked. Here we go. I'll just press it here, press these two in, press these two clips in. And it comes straight out. No more jamming, no more problem. So that's a little solution that I found and I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, today. Okay, bye for now.